Hello everyone and welcome to the first annual Quinty West Representative Banquet. My name is Tim Durkin and I'll be your host this evening. Quinty West Minor Hockey had a fantastic year on and off the ice. Seven teams advanced to the OMHA semifinals with two advancing to the finals and being declared co-champions. Let's have a recap. We'll start first with the Novice team and we'll take a look at their stats, their league play, their tournament and jamboree. First on the half ice, their league games, they went 45, three and three. In the Kingston Jamboree, they were 14, one and one, which was the top record if they were allowed to track. Now, as far as full ice is concerned, at the Whitby tournament, they went five and two, good enough for a second place finish. And in the league games, they went 9-0-0. Oh, oh. Now, this includes an 8-2 win against Belleville's double-A team in Ottawa. So, the final full ice league stats. 8-0, oh, good enough for 16 points. Their goals 4-59, their goals against just 10. Four shutouts in full ice league games. They only allowed more than two goals against twice throughout 16 full ice games. The coaches and volunteers say it was a great bunch of players and families to work with. To the minor Adams, they were OMHA co-champions. They were third in points in the regular season. They picked up a silver cup in the 49th annual Guelph Power Play and a silver cup in the 21st annual Bell Capital Cup. They were also the 2019-20 OMHA co-champions. Well done to the minor Adams. The Adam team had a fantastic year, improving on their record from last year, going 18, two and three. Finally getting by the Adam team, the Adam Hawks battled hard with Innisville in the semifinals, forcing a game five before losing. In minor Pee Wee, their team had a fantastic year, going 35, 15 and six. In the regular season, they were 17, seven and four. In tournament play, 9-4-1, and, and that same 9-4-1 and one record in the playoffs. They had a 12-game regular season unbeaten streak, and they were the Philadelphia Fall Classic Tournament finalists, a regional Silver Stick finalist. They finished third in the Lakeshore League regular season and were OMHA playoff semifinalists. To Pee Wee AE. This team worked hard on the ice and continued to develop their skills. They were part of the Belleville Sins All-In program as well and had a great experience learning from some of the best hockey players. In minor Bantam, quite the respectable regular season going 18-6-3 and, and in the playoffs, 9-5-2. They were OMHA semifinalists. The Bantam A team finished first in the regular season play and were undefeated in regular season play. They lost to the Barry Colts in the OMHA semifinals, an overall record for the season, nothing to sneeze at, 44, five and six. This year, the minor midgets had an excellent regular season. They had a 661 winning percentage and a 592 goals four percentage, finishing in second place. Now, the coaching staff says they had a good feeling with how the year was going and that they knew they would possibly be playing Aurelia in the semifinal. Well, the team made sure they were in the tournament. First game of the tournament, they lost to the host Aurelia and they lost big. The team was pretty upset with the loss, but the coaching staff knew they would rebound. So once again, they played the rest of the tournament like they wanted to win and they succeeded. They played Aurelia in the finals and gave them their first loss of the year. And knowing that they could go against them was the drive that the team needed for the rest of the season. And they saw Aurelia in the semifinals and beat them one more time. Aurelia finished the entire season with just three losses, two of those losses against the Quinney West Hawks. The minor midget team also lost in the finals in their first tournament and won the second tournament. To the midgets. The team may not have had a really outstanding award-winning season, but that being said, the team became a completely different group by the time the season and playoffs came to the end. From the start, the team was pretty well made once tryouts began, only having to make a couple layoffs from the team 
and getting some younger men from other regions who wanted to be a part of the team. And they wouldn't have changed a thing about the team, and they competed hard all season. At the midget age group, it is really tough. You're facing some great hockey teams, but the young men on the team came to battle every game and every practice. They bought into the program, and it was humbling for the coaching staff to see that they went on a 10-game win streak that led into the playoffs playing some great hockey and competing with everything they had. They had a ton of fun as well. They faced off against Bradford in the quarterfinals of the OMHA and was truly a hard-fought series, even though it didn't end up in Trenton's favor. They know that the players left it all out on the ice. The Midget Hawks were able to participate in a fun but also competitive game against a really skilled team from Sweden that was touring Canada. It was a wonderful experience for the team and one they will never forget. The coaching staff along with the parents won't forget it either. Thank you to the staff of the Quinney West Minor Hockey Association. Good luck to all the Quinney West teams in the upcoming year. Our first award will be the most valuable player from each team. This award is selected by the team coaching staff to the player who is deemed to be the most valuable player on the team. It's presented by your coaches. Here are your MVPs, novice right through midget. Greetings Hawks. The Novice A team had an exceptional preliminary season due to the combination of great players, supportive families, outstanding managers, and a dedicated coaching staff. Despite the challenges of being new to rep hockey, having to adjust to the new split season half ice full ice format, and being the only team in our division without any previous rep experience, this team overcame every challenge with class and positivity. Although our team finished the regular season with the highest goals for, lowest goals against, and an undefeated record in the Lakeshore Loop, what I'm most proud of is the players' commitment to a cooperative, team-first philosophy that led to great passing and made them play as a unit. As a coach, it's been very rewarding and a lot of fun seeing the development of these young players, and I'm really looking forward to next season. Well done, Hawks. As for the awards, the Novice A MVP award goes to our one and only goalie, Colin Robinson. Colin's value of, as a player can be measured by his actions both on and off the ice. With a regular season goals against average of 1.25 and eight shutouts throughout the year, he was exceptional at keeping pucks out of the net and giving the team the chance to win every game. This combined with his positive attitude in the dressing room, solid work ethic, and fearless nature in the net makes him very deserving of this award. Congratulations, Colin, on an incredible season. I'd just like to congratulate John Corber on being MVP for the Minor Adam Coney West Hawks in the 2019-2020 season. Congratulations, John. The MVP award for the Major Adam Hawks goes to Malcolm Brooks. Malcolm is a player that works hard every time he is on the ice and leads by example. His work ethic, drive, and determination has become the standard for this team. He not only led the team in points for the regular season, but he always stepped up with a big goal, defensive zone face-off win, or winning the battles on the PK. He played in all game situations and is a leader on and off the ice. Congratulations, Malcolm, on earning this team award. Hello, as president of the Quinny West Minor Hockey Association and the coach of the Minor TV team, I would first like to say that I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe during these trying times. Hopefully we'll be back in the back in normal and on the sports field in the near future. I would like to congratulate our representative teams on a great season with special mention to the Minor Adam team and the TV team who advanced the OMHA finals and were awarded red hats. I will now present the Minor TV Most Valuable Player Award. This award goes to a player who we can always count on to put forth his best effort every game and practice. He was a great teammate on and off the ice. He had an outstanding season, scoring 71 goals and 26 assists, and got always be counted on when he needed a goal in crunch time. I'm proud to announce the winner of the most valuable player for the minor B-Week team is Brendan Reed. Congratulations on a great season. The MVP award for the PWA team literally could have went to anybody on this on the roster um, it was the biggest part of uh, our team being part of the red hats this year everybody has bought in um, one of these guys that's we used in every situation power play penalty kill uh, defensive zone draws offensive zone draws um, sunny fanjoy congratulations buddy Eight wing, 
PBA Hawks MVP goes to a player who led our team both on and off the ice. He's a solid two-way hockey player that any coach would love to have on his team. He led his team in scoring in the playoffs, and second overall in scoring in the regular season. During the season, he only had six minutes in penalties. Congratulations, Jacob Briscoe, on a great season. I am the coach of the minor Benhamé Hawks this year, and I'd like to congratulate the whole team. Uh, we came in, uh, we lost out in the OMHA semifinals, and it was a great successful year. Anyway, due to the award ceremony happening via telephone now and no banquet, uh, I'm going to announce first off uh, our MVP of the year. Um, he's been dedicated, gives 100%, game in, game out, every practice, never missed once, and that. Uh, Coincidence, he scored the, the game uh, overtime winner, which led us to the OMHA semifinals. So, uh, with that, our MVP for the Minam Baname Hawks is Joshua Matthew. Hey, everybody, I'm Kirk Hoop. I got the honor this year being the head coach of the Queen West Banham Hawks. It was a privilege to be part of the uh, coaching staff this year of these great young athletes. We set a lot of goals this year, for on and off the ice, and we uh, we reached all of them, except we didn't get a chance to host the OHS. They've asked me to pick the award for the most valuable player. This is a very tough uh, award to give out. Everybody on the team deserves an award of some kind. Everybody's got strengths and weaknesses that make this team as strong and successful as it was. But after talking to the coaching staff, we have decided to give the most valuable player this year to Shana. He was one of the goalies that we relied on heavily. He was uh, always that clutch guy in that back there and he helped us out get through all those tough games and tournaments. So thank you, James, for being so strong and standing back in the net. Jeremy Prinzen here, coach of the Quinny West Minor Midget uh, 2004 Hawks. I'd like to start off by congratulating uh, all our teams in the Quinny West uh, Minor Hockey uh, Rep Program. Congratulations on a successful year and a successful postseason. I'd like to thank uh, the board at uh, Quinny West Minor Hockey and Kim for everything that you guys do uh, behind the scenes to uh, keep us on track uh, and make sure everything runs uh, as smoothly as it did. I'd like to thank my coaching staff. Um, without you guys, uh, this team wouldn't have been successful as it was. Thank you for everything that you guys do and the effort that uh, effort and time that you guys put into it. Thank you for our uh, parents that helped also uh, uh, behind the scenes, making sure things uh, ran smoothly. Um, I'd also uh, like to thank uh, every player on this team that uh, put in 110% this year. Uh, we all had our ups and downs, um, but we, you guys all rose to the occasion um, and played some uh, great hockey to get us to the uh, semifinals. Um, it wasn't the way we wanted to end, but I am, uh, but don't take away that I am uh, proud and the coaching staff is proud of uh, how, uh, how the season ended. This uh, award was chosen by the teammates and coaching staff. We had to do two votes on this because they were so close. Uh, this most valuable player um, all, wasn't really vocal all the time, but uh, he made his presence known. He was uh, well liked uh, by his teammates. Um, he was easy to coach. Uh, never made a fuss. Very uh, low on penalty minutes. I think one game he did get three minutes or three penalties right in a row, but hey, that was uh, not like him. Anyway, the most valuable player for uh, for this 2004 Quinn West Hawks is chosen by uh, teammates and uh, coaching staff is your assistant captain, Justin Postma. Congratulations, uh, Justin, on being selected as uh, most valuable player. Congratulations to uh, all of those players that uh, have won awards or will get awards. Um, congratulations on a successful year. Hey guys, Connor Gunter here, uh, coach of the Major Major Hawks, Coney West. Uh, hope everyone is staying safe, healthy, all that. Um, congratulations to all the Coney West minor hockey teams this season. 
quite uh, different, unexpected uh, ending to the season that we all had. Um, just sometimes uh, crazy stuff like this happens, and just make the best of it. Congratulations to the uh, Minor Adam and uh, Pee Wee team who co-championship of the OMHA finals. Well deserved. Crazy way to end it, but you've all deserved it, and congratulations. Uh, I'm going to hand out our MVP for our team this season, and it's going to go to our goaltender, Brock Salins. His outstanding goaltender, human, he just he showed up to the rink every every time, just ready to go, focused. Um, myself, I've learned a lot off him, just, and I'm sure our teammates learned a lot off him this season, the way he prepares himself and the way he addresses everything. Well deserved, he gave us a fighting chance. Every single game that we played, we had a chance to win because he was in net and giving it his all. Congrats, bro. The top defense award was so hard to select, just two winners for the association. Taking the committee opted to award this to one player per team. The following attributes were taken into consideration for the award. Battles hard in the corners, crisp passes, good defensive zone coverage, great in the neutral zone defending with advanced skating skills and communicates effectively with the teammates. Once again, these are presented by your coaches. Congratulations. The Novice A Top Defenseman of the Year Award goes to Tyler Bird. I've had the pleasure of coaching Tyler for five years now, and his passion for the game and desire to improve have helped Tyler become a very effective defenseman and a great teammate. His effort and positivity motivate those around him, and he leads by example by listening well to coaches and playing with tenacity and sportsmanship every single game. Congratulations, Tyler, on this well-deserved award. I'd just like to congratulate Lucas Kotsavis on being chosen as the top D for the Coney West Minor Adam Hawks 2019-2020 season. Congratulations, Lucas, on a great year. Top defenseman award for the Major Adam Hawks is awarded to Malachi Hornwig. Malachi earned this honor while playing top minutes on the defensive end. He played in all game situations. His work ethic, drive, and determination is second to none. He works hard on and off the ice and leads by example. Congratulations, Malachi, on earning this team award. I will now present the winner of the top defensive award for the Meyer PB team. We have a solid team defense this season. We have this player had a great year after transitioning from forward to defense. By the end of the year, he can be counted on all situations and let our defense scoring with 17 goals and 18 assists. I'm proud to present this award to Connor Bicone. Congratulations on a great season. The future is bright for you on defense. The award for top D for the PWEA goes to Brock Davey. Brock is a beast on the ice. Um, he's a leader off the ice. The kid just never stops. Um, congratulations, Brock Davey. The top defenseman award. Uh, this player worked hard from August to February learning a new position. His speed allowed him to jump up into the rush, but also to get back into position to protect the defensive zone. His heads up movement of the puck was key to our success most nights. He led our defenseman in scoring. And he was also our co-captain. Bryce Mitchell, congratulations on a great season. It's Chris again from the minor Banamay Hawks and uh, our best MVP of defense this year is awarded to the guy that inspires most of the teammates, a great leader. Best off, he showed that he was the best player on the team in the playoffs. And with that, our best defenseman goes to Lucas Scaletta. Congratulations, Luke. The defense award goes to the equally difficult award to get to an individual on our team. Because I feel like we have some of the strongest defense in the league this year. All of our defense, you know, they're back as well, move the puck quick, uh, don't panic back there. So it took those little pieces we had to look at, and after really taking that stuff apart, 
Uh, I'm giving the defense award to Nathan Shuttleworth. Nick Nathan for being getting strong back there and being helping us out on all those updates. This uh, top defenseman award um, goes to a player that uh, I don't know how he did it all the time, but he seems to always keep the puck in on his feet. You know, people just could not strip the puck away from him. He was uh, a dominant force out there, um, could move the puck really well. Uh, he was a leader on this team. Uh, people looked to him, it was to look to talk to him. Um, the winner uh, for uh, top defenseman is uh, Brody Brooks. Um, congratulations, uh, Brody. For our next award there, uh, top defenseman. Uh, real, another real special player. Um, it's going to go out to Dylan Foster. The amount of skill and also his preparation is bar none. Um, Real, real special hockey player. Uh, he sees the ice like none other than I've seen. Um, well deserved. He is. He made our. He made our whole team better. The way that he played. And guys looking up to him. Assistant captain on our team at that. Maybe not uh, the loudest in the group, but the way that he played the game, hard right. People notice that and they work off that. It goes a long way. So, that being said, um, it was a privilege to coach uh, the major midgets here in Coney West and be a part of the association. Um, I will be back, hopefully, to be coaching here soon. And all the best, everybody. Take care. The Goaltender Award is presented to the goalie pair or individual in the junior division, that's Pee Wee and below, and the senior division, minor bantam and above. This duo has the best goals against average for the regular season, presenting this award as Quinny West alumni and member of the OHL's Sault Ste. Marie Greyhounds goaltending team. It's Ethan Taylor. Hi, my name is Ethan Taylor, and I'm current goalie for the only shop with two Greyhounds and a former Queen West Hawk. I am here to present the award for top goaltending teams. There is an award for Pee Wee and Below and Meyer Band and Above. In order for teams to help and fast team, two great goalies that can balance their friendly competition on the ice as well as support one another off the ice. First of all, present the award for Pee Wee and Below. The winners of this award are Carson Down and Dryden Riley. Who had a goal against average of 1.18 throughout the age of the guys. So we'll now present the award for Mario Bannon and Bob. The winners are Seamus Colleen and Harris McEwen, who had a combined goal against average of 1.29. Congratulations. The Coach of the Year is presented to the coach who was a mentor both on and off the ice. This individual was a positive role model, communicates effectively with parents players and others and represents Quinney West minor hockey and the city of Quinney West in a positive manner. I'd like to take this opportunity to announce this year's 2019-2020 Quinney West minor hockey coach of the year. And it's going to go to Shana Frost. Shana's coached this major Adam Hawks team for four years now and she's done really well. This year we went all the way to the All-Ontario semifinals and had a great series. Um, that we also finished first in the regular season. We did really well the tournament she played in. Uh, Chena is a great coach of these kids on and off the ice. She's a big, great mentor. These kids look up to her and she does a lot of work on and off the ice and practice prep and games. And is that, she asks, asks a lot of her to come out to the rink all the time as a non-parent coach and she does a great job and she's well deserving of this award for the 2019-2020. Uh, yeah. The Bevitt Horner Volunteer Award is presented to an individual who goes above and beyond to volunteer their time, energy, and talent to a team and the organization. Presenting the first annual Bevitt Horner Award is the man himself, Mr. Bevitt Horner. This year's uh, winner of the Bevitt Horner Volunteer Award goes to Lisa Kochak. 
As a volunteer, Alicia played a significant role this year in making sure we secured adequate funds for a successful OHF tournament. Not only is she willing and dedicated countless hours towards fundraising efforts, she transfers the skills and knowledge necessary to raise money to the players she was fundraising with. Alicia picked up players, for example, to take with her to approach businesses and show them how successfully sell, how to successfully sell their cause. Alicia is always willing to work with a variety of people and her teamwork approach allowed her to come up with many creative ideas to secure the funds and try to keep, and keep the process fun as possible. The Mayor Award for Sportsmanship is awarded to one player in the junior division and one player in senior. The recipient of the award builds teamwork, character, and teaches respect on and off the ice. They're disciplined, they're kind and resilient. They persevere through adversity and promote inclusion with their teammates and a positive ambassador for the Quinney West area and wherever they may be. Presenting the awards to our winners Brody Polatsky from the Pee A team and Lane Kocek from the Bantam A team is the Mayor, His Worship Jim Harrison. As Mayor Lane, it's a pleasure for me to be here presenting this trophy to you. Uh, I've known your parents for a long time and your dad's a, your dad was a was a real sportsman. He uh, treated everybody with respect and dignity all the time, and you're taking after him as well. So uh, it's great to see you uh, out there, and I understand you're a, a, a good hockey player. You practice uh, practice hard and uh, practice long and uh, do your shift well, support all your teammates and uh, their parents, So, uh, and I understand you do well in school. So good for you. Uh, keep up the good work. and. All I can say is congratulations and uh, we'll look for something better. I sure hope we get to play hockey again. It's a pleasure to uh, present this trophy to uh, Brody, uh, the Sportsmanship Trophy, Trophy. And I understand Brody's a really great team member, supports his teammates, uh, works hard every shift, uh, every game, every practice, does a good job in school, listens to mom and dad, and uh, shows respect for all, uh, all the uh, not just the players, but their parents and so on. So, uh, Brody, it's a pleasure to uh, give you this trophy and uh, I, I'm, I'm not giving it to you. I, you've earned it, you've earned it. And uh, I appreciate that very much and keep on doing what you're doing. Thank you. The Most Points Award is awarded to the player with the most points, goals and assists as posted by the electronic game sheets in the regular season. This is one winner from the Novice Division and one winner from the juniors and seniors. Presenting this award is the Director of Operations for the Trenton Golden Hawks, John McDonald. Hi there, this is uh, John McDonald, the Director of Operations for the Trenton Golden Hawks. Uh, I do not really want to present this award because being an old goaltender, I don't like these type of players. But anyway, no, all kidding aside, uh, it's kind of my honor to uh, be asked to present the leading scores, and uh, as I said, as a goaltender, I don't know, but anyway, we'll, we'll give it a try and see. Uh, for novice, we have MacArthur Wild. Uh, MacArthur had 12 goals and four assists last year. Quite an achievement for the young man. For Pee Wee, wow, Brendan Reed. Uh, he lit up. Uh, he lit up my fellow goaltenders for 40 goals and 15 assists. I don't know about that guy. We better check his stick. And then for Bantam and above, we have uh, Trey Kocek, and he had 50 points, 37 goals and 13 assists. Now I certainly hope that uh, you guys uh, continue working hard and are, uh, having a great summer, even with what's going on. And in a couple of years, we want to see you guys trying out for the Golden Hawks with these kind of numbers. So, once again, it was my honor and thanks guys and have a great season. The Wayne Burrell Community Spirit Award is given to a team that is involved in the community and other causes. The recipient of this year's award is the Pee Wee A team. Let's see what they've been up to.
Presenting this award is the super fan himself, Wayne Burrell. Good luck for a good season you guys had. You guys you were number one out there. You guys will be always number one. Way to go, Pee Wee Hawks. This is a good hockey team. You guys are number one, my heart. The Clement Scoring Award is named in memory of Jim and Ryan Clement. Jim and Ryan were a father and son team who passed away in 2001. Presenting this award to the player with the most goals, as posted in the regular season by the electronic game sheets, is Mike Clement. Hi, my name is Mike Clement. I'm privileged to present the Clement Scoring Trophy today in honor of my father, Jim, and brother, Ryan. This year's winner of the Pee Wee Division is Brandon Reed with 40 goals. Congratulations, Brandon. Way to go, bud. This year's award for the Bantam Division is Trey Kosick with 37 goals. Way to go, bud. The Andrew Batchelet Memorial Award is presented to a Pee Wee Age player who best exemplifies the spirit and memory of Andrew. Hello, my name is Lori Baird, and I'm going to present the Andrew Batchelet Memorial Award. The Andrew Batchelet Memorial Award is being given to a Pee Wee Aged hockey player because Andrew was a Pee Wee Aged player when he died in an accident with his father and uncle. I remember when Andrew Batchelet died very well. He was a grade seven student and I was a grade eight student. I remember Andrew being a very good student and being really funny. He was a friend to all. I spoke with his mom and it was important to her that this award be given to someone who's a good teammate and really makes people laugh. This award is being given to someone who is very funny. If you have met this young man, he has made you laugh. I'm very happy to present the Andrew Batchelet Memorial Award to Dexter Sloan. Congratulations, Dex. Presenting the Cole Sager Memorial Award to a minor midget player is Nick Van Jemeren. Hi, I'm Nick Van Jemeren, and I'm honored that I've been chosen to present the first ever Cole Sager Memorial Award. Cole Sager was a member of the Quinney West Hawks organization who passed away suddenly at the age of 16 on August 6, 2011, just weeks before hockey season was starting. Cole was an individual who truly loved life. He was a strong athlete who participated in most sports, but had a great passion for hockey and the outdoors. He was an avid outdoorsman who loved to hunt and fish with his brothers, his family, and his buddies. I had the pleasure to coach Cole in his minor midget year. People remember him for many different reasons and things, but I remember him as a feisty leader and a great young kid, a kid that always had a smile on his face. Seeing the way he worked in tryouts and in practice, making him an assistant captain was an easy choice for us. As weeks and the year went on, Cole was one of the most important pieces of our team. He let his style of play and his hard work do all the talking, and the team and staff quickly saw this. Cole wasn't a big player in size, but he never backed down from battles and never shied away from situations. He played big. Like I said, he always had a smile on his face, but he was like the calm before the storm. He never got rattled about anything. He was just a hard, clean player who worked his tail off. The Cole Sager Memorial Award is being awarded to a minor midget player in Quinney West, as this is the last team that Cole was a member of. The recipient of this award best exemplifies Cole's character and has been nominated by their team's bench staff. I'm proud to announce that the winner of the Cole Sager Memorial Award is Cole Stevenson. Congratulations. The Hawks Bursary is presented to a graduating student who is continuing studies at the college or university or trade level. The recipient will receive a bursary of $500 to help offset the cost of further education. Presenting the award is our president, Mike Boats. I will now present the 2019 2020 Hawks Bursary. 
The schools are represented by Claire heading off to post-secondary education. We have chosen Claire to understand that often prior to teach what happens on the edge. This Claire has felt the importance of the community with players and families throughout many years of playing in our center. She has balanced his academic goals and his hockey goals and has succeeded in both. This player recognizes the importance of team and those relationships that last half when the season was over, as well as showing gratitude for his family and the commitment that is required to achieve success in this sport. This player has a well planned education path, facing through both college and university to retain his end goals. We are proud to award all Coots with this anniversary and wish him continued success in this promising future. Thank you, Owen, for all you have brought as a player in Quinky West, and good luck in the civil engineering program. The Hawks Longevity Award is presented to players who have played representative hockey in Quinney West from novice to midget. Presenting this award is our registrar, Kim Thurston. Hi everyone, I'm presenting the Hawks Longevity Award to a player in Quinney West minor hockey who has played representative hockey from the novice level to the midget level. This year, we have six recipients for this award, and they are Chris Scaletta, Andrew Wood, Dylan Foster, Andrews Lang, Owen Coots, and Brady Mason. Congratulations and thank you for your dedication and positive contribution to Quinney West Minor Hockey. At this time, we want to take a moment to thank a couple of volunteers who have dedicated years of service to the association. This past season, was the first of many these individuals were not directly involved in the planning and preparation of the season. The saying that we are only as good as volunteers is certainly true with these two individuals. We want to thank them. Presenting to Bevett Horner and Scott Scaletta is our Vice President, Cheryl Carrier. Oh, Bevett, I want to say that I was really honored to um, be asked to present this uh, recognition for the years of volunteering that you did with Quinney West Minor Hockey. It's certainly an honor. Um, we know that when you volunteer for an association, you're not only uh, enhancing the association itself, but the community with what you live in, and we know that you have done that as well. Um, just to put it in perspective how long that you've been volunteering here, I had somebody ask me, and so I related the story to him that you had told me that back in the day when you were first volunteering, you used to let Elizabeth Manley into the rink at six in the morning so that she could get some extra ice time. So I relayed that to this young fellow and, and he looked at me and he seemed to be quite impressed. And he said, well, I know who Bevitt is, but mm, I'm sorry, I don't know who Elizabeth Manning is. So I thought that was quite interesting that you would appreciate that little chuckle. Also know, um, Bevitt, that the years that you had spent at the arena and the time and all the kids that you have touched um, didn't come alone and that Michelle was on your side and, and certainly supported you the way through. So although this is the recognition for you, we know that Michelle very much had a part of this. So congratulations and uh, we'll see you around the rink again, I'm sure. Hey Scott, I just want to say that I was very touched that I was asked to uh, do this virtual presentation of the recognition for your volunteering in Quinney West Minor Hockey. Um, many people know that you've been here for quite some time, but uh, you were actually here I believe before, whether it was Trenton Minor Hockey, before you had kids. And uh, maybe didn't realize how much you'd become involved at Stovall, but uh, well you and Jessica just kept having kids that became hockey players. So. Um, I don't know if people realize exactly how much work it is to volunteer and and they often think you're here for your own children but oh my gosh sometimes you're here despite that you have a family that is expecting you not to take phone calls etc so we very much appreciate the volunteering that you did the time that you gave the association and, and also the fact that you are still there so that we can draw upon your knowledge and your experience so again scott thanks for the year you gave us and uh, i'm sure we'll see you around the rink as well this concludes the awards presentation of our banquet. Please welcome back our president, Mike Boats, for some closing remarks. It is now time to wrap up our first annual Quinney West Manor Hockey Rep Banquet. When this idea was brought forth, it was a new and exciting adventure for us. Little did we know that we would get stopped on our tracks and have to come up with plan B. In saying this, through the hard work of the banquet committee, we were able to switch gears and pull it off with the virtual version. I would like to thank everyone on the committee, Kim Thurston, Kevin Wallace, Mandy Heron, Alicia Kocek, Heidi Taz, Julia Moran, and Lori Baird. Your work through these changing and challenging times has been greatly appreciated. 
We look forward to seeing what the live version looks like next year. I would like to once again congratulate all of our teams on their great results this season. Of our 8A teams that were eligible for the OMHA Playdowns, they all made the quarterfinals, seven made the semifinals, and two, our minor Adams and Peewees, made the OMHA Finals and brought home red hats. What an unbelievable year. Our novice team also had an outstanding year. They were the first team to take part in the new novice pathway, which included half ice hockey until Christmas before playing a shortened season of full ice hockey. This team went 8-0 in their full ice regular season and were headed to the Lakeshore Championship Series before the season was cut short. Great job, guys. In closing, I would like to say how proud we all were of the great season we had. We were in a really good spot and the future is bright for Quinney West Minor Hockey. Congratulations to all the players and coaches and thank you to the parents and the sponsors. Without your commitment, this would not be possible. I wish everyone a fun and safe summer and hope we're all able to get back together in the near future. Please watch the Quinney West Minor Hockey website for updates around registration and any news we receive about the possible start dates of the 2020-2021 season. Thank you for a great 2019-2020 season.